um, on the match and the result, and then we'll open it up for questions. Um, well, good evening, everyone. Um, I think uh, you know, winning two zero is um, it's probably the right score for for this match. Um, you know, we, we had the volume of, of, of attack, we had the possession, uh, we had a couple of lapses, um, but uh, all in all, I think it's probably the, the accurate result for, for this type of game. Um, I liked our intensity. Um, we, we, we played the first 44 minutes with, with the type of uh, uh, desire that I liked the guys to display and but towards the end of the first half we, we for some reason we we let our arms down and those are the kinds of things that we need to keep working on um, obviously the untimely um, ejection of uh, of Alfonso also changed things but uh, as I said you know we, we had some moments that, that were good and other moments that were not so good in the end we won and that's that's obviously pleasing. Thank you. So we'll um, once again name an outlet just to help. Okay, Bruce Schuller, Sporting News. Um, what were your impressions of uh, Anthony Jackson and Milton? He got a golden assist and that thought he played quite well in the first half. Well, he, he in this camp, in this particular camp, uh, he, he was one of our best players. Um, he scored a number of goals in, in Training sessions, um, in the, when we broke into a game, an intra-squad game, he also scored. He, he is a very good finisher, uh, Anthony Jackson. I think he has a he has a tremendous future because he's one of the coolest guys in front of the goal. Um, you know, it, I mean, you, you as a coach, you, you always want more. Out of a player, you know, perhaps I, I like him to be a little bit more mobile, have a couple more, you know, tricky moves to get himself open. But you know, the most difficult part in this game is to is to be calm and collected in front of the goal, and he is he, he has that. So he, he, from that standpoint, he, I think he's going to be very good. Anthony Totera, red card coach. What do you think of Jonathan Osorio's game tonight? I think he played very very well. I think he. Uh, he um, it's it's now beginning to understand that his role on the field is is not um, what he has been trying to to uh, play for I guess a long period of time, which is like an attacking midfielder. I think he's more of a two-way player, and we had this conversation um, during the Gold Cup, and we had ample time to really really bear down on, on, on issues and I think if he plays uh, in a position that is is not um, so high up the field but rather as a link player and he has uh, responsibilities uh, not only being being that link but also trying to get the ball back for the team I think he could be very good and I I, I, I hope that he keeps on working on this because that will probably signify more more minutes for him on the field. Right, Neil? Octavio and Neil Davidson, the Canadian Press. <clears throat> Do you think the red card for Alfonso was justified? I I I haven't seen the, the video tape, so I can I can't comment on that. I I think <coughs> Alfonso's reaction was really one that you know he it would, probably you can you can think that uh, he felt that there was nothing to argue about and he just he just left it. Uh, so I, I would have to I would have to look at the, at the at the video replay to, to give you my my answer on that. Hi, ISMS Sportsport. Uh, my name is Ali. Coach, what was the difference between the last game, Jamaica? World Cup conquered and tonight uh, you guys uh, back in summer what was the difference? You guys happened to manage the game better, better controlling, better passing and one more thing is how come Ricketts came so late to a front of home fan? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I'll answer the second part of your question first. Um, sometimes uh, you go on a, on a game, into a game, thinking you're going to make substitutions at a certain times during the game, and it's all it's all already kind of uh, calculated. But the game di dictates other things. You know, you 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 don't count on things that that. Uh, and that happened, and, and and they did happen in this game. So, the departure, the early departure of, of Alfonso, it, it kind of changed things for us. We we were going to put him in earlier, not because he is in the home crowd. It, that is not how we do things. It, it has nothing to do uh, the fact that uh, Jay played, the fact that Osorio played, and Raheem. It has nothing to do with the fact that they are from the Toronto FC or they are based in, it really has only to do about uh, their performance. Um, and it's the same for for, um, for Ricketts. He's a, he's a good player and he was going to play because he also showed very well in camp. Um, we, I think we are trying to play consistently uh, good football. We're, we're trying to keep it as a kind of part of our DNA. We we are not there yet. We we show moments in which we can do it and, and we can combine very well and, and get on the you know work the ball from the defensive third into the attacking third with um, fluidity and, and that is pleasing. Um, but uh, you know it's not consistent enough and sometimes we just make mistakes that put us in, in trouble. But this is a new group, obviously. Um, there's some guys, new guys, that came in, and and, and that always uh, tends to, you know, change things. And you you can expect that it's going to click 100%. But all in all, I think I, our guys did did try to stick to the idea of what we want to do as a team, as a as a, our style of play. And we we are not for for some. Lapses of the game, I saw it. Yes. Yep. Joshua Club, the Athletic. Uh, to come back to Alfonso, you seemed very quick to console him as he came off. Can you share what kind of message you gave to him as he came off? Well, it's really, it, it was more of a gesture. It, he was, it appeared to me at least that he was either a little bit embarrassed, a little bit. Uh, um, you know, repentant. Uh, I don't know. He he didn't want to be on the field. That's that's for sure. Um, but um, he's a young guy. You know, he's a lot. A lot of things have happened to him. Um, a lot of things that people know, and a lot of a lot all the things that people don't know. And and uh, we we just have to be patient with him. He's a great kid, and you know, uh, I, I I stand by him. This type of reactions, uh, you know, it, it seemed like he kind of stuck his leg a little bit too, or kept it up in the air. As, I don't know, but um, but I am not, I am not overly concerned because I know his essence as a as a human being. He's a, he's a great kid, so he's uh, he's going to be okay. James, James Cross, yeah, MLS soccer. How foundational in terms of trying to build the new attacking form of football you'd like to see is having a guy like Piet in the midfield to break things up and start off the Extremely important. He's probably one of those guys that go unnoticed to the un untrained eye, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned him, because um, he does a lot for us. He, he is the balance um, that we need when we move the ball forward, and if there is a breakdown, we can count on him to quickly assess the situation and, and get the ball back for us. Um, he has been um, the reason, one of the main reasons why we can play the type of game that we're trying to play is because we know that with him in the middle, he's not only a good passer, a good link out of the back, but also he, he smells the game. You know, he, he knows where to be, and whenever there is a breakdown, he's the first one to to uh, attack that space, and, and that's important. That's, that's basically without that type of, of um, um, commitment 
um, it's difficult to um, to play the type of the type of football that we want to play. John, Hi, John Molinaro from Sportsnet. Um, you talked about the style of play that you want to you know impose on the team. How what how important is Junior's role in that? Especially tonight when it seemed like he was absolutely flying and really kind of creating a lot. What's his? How centrally is that to your vision? He's, he's, this was probably the best game I've seen Junior play. Um, you know, when they asked me about the men, the men of the match, he was, you know, hands down the, the, the player chosen. Um, you know, he he is a elite type of player. He's an elite. He's on the elite level. Um, the the issue with him has been always, and um, and at least when well, since I got to work with him, that <coughs> sometimes sometimes he. He didn't uh, diversify his game. He wanted to dribble all the time. He wanted to, uh, but now he's mixing things up. He's, he's he's dribbling. He's you know he's you know he's playing balls to space. He's crossing the ball. He, he's doing things that we have asked him to do in order to be less predictable. And and when he does that, he's a dynamite player. He's a you know he is a player that. Oh, he gets the ball, and the first thing in his mind is, you know, there is a goal, and I, I want to get there somehow, some way. I want to go there, and and that goes well for us because that's the type of football that we want to play. Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. Sambrano. My name is Christian Basantes. I'm coming from the Net Radio Online in Vancouver, as yourself. I'm from Ecuador as well. Uh, my question is. Uh, have you thought in uh, playing in the Pacific Coast in Vancouver, where that's a place where the actually soccer is growing a lot? And also, what other opponents you have in mind to try your team? Thank you. Um, well, I, I am, I am, um, I am doing my uh, my rounds and making my rounds, uh, watching games. Um, that are not only the professional games, they are the amateur games. I saw a very good game between Woodbridge and Bond, in the League One game final. Um, you know, I, I I think it's important that uh, we. I invited a couple of those guys to come and, and as a squad players to be with us in in camp. I expect to do the same uh, in um, in other parts of of this vast country. Um, the you know the the advent of the of the CPL it's it's also an important piece of what we want to do as a CSA it, 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 these are two very important pillars of soccer in Canada it's, it's really a historic moment we are in some ways reconstructing uh, the men's side of the of the of the programs and um, and the CPL is coming into being. It's a nascent league. So th these two dynamics can can if there is a, enough synergy in them, is that is going to be a, a great great moment for Canada soccer. Uh, we, we have a game against El Salvador. Uh, I, I was told uh, today that it has been confirmed. We're going in October to play them in the United States. Houston was the the original place where we were going to play them. I, I hope that um, everything is in order in, in that part of the United States for us to do it. You know, we'll see. But, but that that's our next our next assignment. So just so you know, we'll announce that when we know the full details. Sorry. Um, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're new to this, me and Octavia. Sorry, we didn't really sorry. talk about that before the press conference. Aldrin's next, and then we've got Anthony after. Aldrin McGill, Star Soccer Review Magazine. Uh, Coach, does the game build as a rematch? At one point in this game, did you feel comfortable? Comfortable. That your team was putting together the game plan and things seemed okay. I, I felt comfortable from the beginning because I thought we asserted ourselves early as the team that wanted to control the game. You know, this is what I want from our guys, and they did it. Um, you know, they, you know, we created the opportunity to score, and you know, 
probably could have scored another one. The, the 3-0 would have given me a little bit more of um, more, more tranquility. But you know, but uh, it, I think we control the game. This is this is the, the important part. I mean, we we examine the the um, stats from our last game. We we controlled the game. It was a, it was a 63%. Uh, possession for us in, in, in the game that we played in, at the Gold Cup, and I, I don't know what this is, but it, it ought to be something similar because we have most of it. Coach, so we have last one last question. Anthony had his hand up. Sorry, Kurt. We'll get to we'll do Anthony, Kurt, and then we'll be done. So you guys can get to the mix zone, okay? Coach, are you concerned at the center back position moving forward? And what did you think also of the city of Toronto and the, the fan support that came out here tonight? Great. I think um, Toronto is a city that, that uh, you know, not only that they, I, I, I've been here for the matches, uh, Toronto FC matches, and, and I know how passionate they are and, and how uh, much they love the game. So to see them come out, it, it, it was great for us. Uh, you know, the national team needs this type of support. Um, and hopefully we can we can give them a good good enough show so that they want to come back and, and they want to keep keep supporting us. Um, uh, we we are constantly looking at players. I mean, we are. This is a never. Uh, this is an uh, evolving process. Daily looking at, at things, uh, opportunities for players to. To come and, and 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 be part of a of a camp, and perhaps looking at players that perhaps can play different positions. I mean, we need depth in, in certain in certain places. The centre back position is one of them. Um, you know, so we, this is a work in progress, and we are we are looking at all, all options. You know, very well. We are pursuing a couple of guys that are in Europe um, that I think could be extraordinarily. Uh, good for for our team. Uh, additions of those type of players would immediately, without having coached uh, one session, it already raises the level of the team. And uh, so that w we're we're doing our our part to to make sure that that happens. Excellent, Kurt. Last one. But we're watching the other World Cup qualifiers this weekend: Can uh, U.S., Costa Rica, Mexico. Just in your brief time. How far behind is Canada from getting to that level and actually competing, you know, to get to the next, you know, the next World Cup? We're, we're not far. We're not far. I, I want to face, our, I want our guys to face that type of competition uh, and as often as, as, as we can. Um, talent is not the issue. We need to hone down on other things. We need to have more competitive matches against those type of teams. We need to face Mexico more times. We need to face the U.S. more times. We need to we need to go down and play Costa Rica, Honduras in, in, in their fields. We, we need to go to South America and play the top teams from South America. These are the types of things that we need to do as a country, as a as a national team. Once we do that, it, we'll know you know where we really stand. And when we come back to play the World Cup qualifiers, we'll be ready. I think I think this team eventually would we need the addition of a couple of players obviously uh, but um, but I think we're on the right track. Thank you, Thank you very much for your patience. Um